Hey, it's Nick, bro. Yeah, this is the uh, Tokyo Marui P90 TR version. Um, I'm just gonna start from the front to the back. So first off, it did come with the silencer, but the threads on mine kind of like had a seizure and they're all messed up now. So I bought a King Arms um, cover that you can get for about 60 bucks at Airsoft Extreme. Go there, buy your stuff there. They're amazing. Um, I have, as you can see, an M4 um, Type R 6.01. Um, I remember wondering this. I rewired it to the front because I, I usually have a box mag in here, but um, I just took it out for PM purposes. Right now, here's a 68 round. Uh, really cool, uh, realistic bullets. They do look pretty, pretty cool. Um, you load them in here, right here, and they feed. Make sure a feeding nozzle. Goes in right there. Yeah, this cord. When I'm not using the uh, drum mag, the trick is you you put it over the mag or the the bolt catch or bolt release, and you tuck it under, and it'll pretty much pretty much stay right there. Yes, sir. And it is Tokyo Marui as it at the um <clears throat> I do have the original stock but I put on this rubber thing so I could put oh man it's pain in the ass to <sighs> I do have regular connectors right here but you know, I like I like this more because if I want to, I can actually still fit mini battery in the back and just uh, take the wire right here out, so I can just have you know the closed <sighs> gun. It's pretty much pretty much my this is uh, 350. Put a 120 spring in it. I got new system of gears. I got a new bevel and spur gear. That, that increased the uh, rate of fire by like four BBs. So it shoots about about 25 BBs per second. Hop up down here. You open up like there. You switch it. It's pretty cool because there's like an arrow showing you where which way to go, so it doesn't confuse you. It's pretty cool. Fire selector right here. Safe. Semi. Full. And it's a double stage trigger. Semi, you can only push it once, but on fully, you can do it semi, pushing it halfway. But if you go all the way, it shoots fully on that. Um, sometimes it gets jammed. Doesn't go on safety. Only sometimes. That's just because this is three years old. <laughs> At least my gun. So take it apart. Obviously take out the bag. The button right here. Push that. And then good. just slide it. Oh. Okay, it's probably slide it out, and there you go. You have your old hop up system. You can take out your barrel and stuff. I don't feel like doing that because this will pop out, it will freaking jump out or er, that way. When you take this out, this thing right here, this piece sometimes comes out, and that's what's holding this up. And this is separate with that, and it'll be two pieces. And this thing will go flying in freaking outer space, won't be able to find it. But uh, there you go. Clicks really nicely back in place. Put your mag back. Sweet. That's that's pretty much good. Um, stock. It is 280 FPS, but the hop up makes it amazing. It'll reach out to 150. Oh, now it goes to 50. It'll reach to uh, 150 feet. About. Um, if you rewired it to the front for the box mag, you won't be able to pull the charging handle back unless you find a different spot to rewire this to the front which I don't know how you would do but um yeah I do usually have a you know tech but I took it off for video purposes and uh, yeah thanks for watching comment subscribe thanks